Hey guys, it's Pamela. Hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas and New Year's. I'm just now getting back into the swing of stuff, but um, here we go. I'm going to do a technique that I did months and months ago called the Dump and Swirl, which I adapted from Melly D. I use these paints here, the Extreme Sheen, and um, she used various paints. Julie Cuts did it. It's basically a density pour. And you uh, maybe do a ring pour with those paints and then pour black paint over them and cells come to the top. I'm doing this with the Shelly uh, pouring medium. So I'm mixing these paints that I'm showing you here, some Josonian Amsterdam. And I'm mixing those with um, the untinted base paint, two, two parts, and one part of my polyurethane oil modified water-based varnish that I've been using this is a base coat of Glidden Premium and uh, Base One, uh, Base White. So I'm just using that to cover the canvas. And then we will slather color onto, on top of this. And then I'll pour a black paint on top of that, which will act as the cell activator. Um, really it's just falling down around the cells and outlining them, uh, the cells that are made from the, uh, lightweight varnish that's in your pouring medium that's floating to the top. So that's basically, boy, I crammed that, I crammed all that in really quick, didn't I? <laughs> I want to be sure I get it all in because I know how long this video is. Um, okay, so dropping the paints. That's uh, yellow. It's uh, Master's Touch Neon Yellow. Of course, mixed with the pouring medium two to one. And this one is Josonia Blue Violet, I believe. It's one of the blues. I'm pretty sure it's the Blue Violet. Mixed the same with the pouring medium. And that's Amsterdam's um, Azo Orange. That one's really thick. Uh, I think that one was left over from some blooms or something I was trying to do. These need to be thick, and that varnish that I use is pretty thick stuff. It's thicker than polyacrylic, and you have to try to thin it out, and it's kind of a challenge. But I like it because it's thick, and I like it gives nice big cells. Um, that looks like Amsterdam's primary magenta... Okay, that's the varnish that I use, water-based oil modified polyurethane in the clear gloss. That's the gallon. It also comes in a pint-sized store from Lowe's. Uh, they also make it in a satin. That one was clear gloss. Oh, and this will be the cell activator. Artist Loft Flow, one part, and then like three parts regular Floetrol, American Floetrol, and then water even on top of that to thin it out. Um, I'm still experimenting with this. Uh, I don't, I, I don't want to give you exact measure. Well, I am giving you exact measurements, but, um, I've had to play with this cell activator, this black part, because if it's too thin, then, well, I think it was mixed a little bit thinner with this one, but I liked the effect. So I'm trying to figure out, uh, which effect I like the most. Um, I've had some more defined cells and then I've had like some smaller cells and this this demonstration here is the smaller cells So I'm heating that up and that brings the varnish to the top and uh, So I'm gonna tilt tilt the heck out of it a hard tilt one way to stretch out the paint So you're stretching thin the black paint so that the varnish can come to the top easier and create the cells. That's basically what's happening. So there might be parts of this video that I play music in as usual. Because we got to do a lot of tilting. Oh, and this is a 12 by 16 canvas. So that helps with, you know, all the tilting and the holding the canvas for so long. I'm not trying to make it sound like it's difficult, but yeah, <laughs> you might want to start out with like a 12 by 12. I actually started on six by six tiles when I thought, oh, is this going to work with the Shelly pouring medium? And it, it does. It's a lot of paint, but then again, so is the swipe. So 
And that artist loft, you know, is pretty inexpensive. It's my computer. You gotta, computers make a noise, you just slap it. You slap it, and it stops. That's probably why I have computer issues, but anywho. I'm going to stop talking, play a little music. Okay, so you can see I'm really tilting this up in one direction and then back and forth to the other direction. I'm trying to hit all four corners there. In doing this though, wherever I pa placed my blue, I don't remember, it, it all went off canvas. So I didn't get any. See that little corner there, the bottom left? You can see some of the blue showing through, but darn it. That would have been so pretty if some blue showed up. But look at the cells, guys. Isn't that interesting? I think it's really interesting. I mean, it, it's, it looks like a swipe, but it's not. Hence, the anti-swipe. <laughs> I can't think of a better name for it, so I'm sure someone will come up with one. But for right now, I'm just going to call it the anti-swipe. And that helps the cells. I'm putting a little heat. It's not a lot of air is coming out of the skin on low just heat so that'll kind of it'll keep developing your cells will continue to grow um, every time I've done this the cells just continue to grow just like they did with the, the pearl pour that Julie cuts did or or with any type of dump and swirl or type of density pour so uh, if you want to look back on my extreme sheen days video 34 I've got one where I used the uh, that type of paint which has kind of a glossy varnish finish to it so it's kind of the same well it is the same concept I'm gonna start I'm gonna try to tilt this a little bit more even though there's really not a lot of paint left on the canvas um, it dries really quick and nice too it's dried like within a day so not cured but it's dried so so that's good just make sure your canvas is level and you're good to go so I'm going to keep trying to perfect this and uh, see what kind of uh, different directions I can get going with the colors. I mean, you can place the colors anywhere on the canvas and uh, see if I can do it with a little less paint. The uh, thing is, you just got to be able to really stretch it. If I can thin out that the pillow paint or the flood coat a little bit more, then I can get uh, more stretch out of it. I can get more of it to flow across the canvas. So. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to show a pan, a uh, close-up view here in a second. And uh, I'm also going to show a picture of a couple of others I did, I think. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you soon with another one. 
Thank you. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Please. How do I turn this off? Uh, why?